Hi, um, <laughs> it's the day after, uh, I got interrupted, and I didn't get to film, uh, for the rest of the day yesterday. I got home from the school, like, late, because event happened after event, went to all my classes, and then when I got home finally, I was absolutely exhausted, so I just went to bed, and, um, that's what happened. Uh, it was a long friggin' day, but anyway, I think I was just really still tired from the day before when we went to New York, and so I was, like, really, really, really tired, like, because I then had a full, another full day at school. But as I was saying when I left off, um, Rockefeller Center is right across from, I was going to say that, Rockefeller Center is right across from St. Patrick's Cathedral, which when I last went there, when I went there before, this, this past, um, February 17th, I went to New York. Um, the time before that, uh, the St. Patrick's Cathedral was under construction. There were a bunch of scaff, there was a bunch of scaffolding on it, and um, so th yeah, that was that. But th uh, this time, all the scaffolding was off. You know, all the scaffolds and everything, and you know, like. Uh, it was, it looked really, really beautiful, and it's just really holy in there, and the organ was just beautiful. Uh, when I go to church, or to cathedrals and whatnot, I feel like I always like to sit next to the organ. If the organ's, like, out, um, of the loft area, if it's, like, on the main floor, which it is at, um, the cathedral in Providence, Rhode Island, uh, I always sit near the organ because it's it's an ultimate experience. It's just really beautiful, really, really beautiful, and you know you can look up at the crucifix. I feel like I like to look at the crucifix the whole time. I try to do that um and it really helps to keep your thoughts focused on God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And, um, so yeah, I just really love St. Patrick's Cathedral, um, it's really holy in there, and yeah, really holy feeling. Like, it's like in the midst of the craziness of New York, and then you just see this beautiful cathedral, and it's like a sanctuary, you know what I mean, like in St. Like in, uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Like, so much crazy stuff was happening on the outside of it. Um, but when you go into the, into Notre Dame, you know, it's like a sanctuary, you know what I mean? So anyway, I'm at home right now, and, uh, I just got home, like, a little while ago, like an hour ago, from the for my walk home from the bus stop and um from school. I took I had one class today, I had Italian and I took a t uh, I took a test. Well it was more like a short quiz really. But it was a little tricky. Nobody did well. But we take like about a quiz a week right in that class and um, I really like that class. I really like every class I'm taking so far, except Latin American history. I like that class a lot. I love the content. Love everything. The only thing I have qualms with is the teacher and, you know, some stuff she talks about. Like, the first thing I'm not even going to talk about because I'm not going to go there. Um, but the second thing is just really offensive. It's like, when she bashes the Catholic Church, and it's like, just like, s don't do that, <laughs> please. It's like, come on, you know what I mean? Like, why do you gotta do that? Period. That's, that's, 
the second thing that bothered me. But overall, like, I really love the class. I love the, I love Latin America. I love, it's all very interesting to me. And so, yeah. I just love learning about the history, but I feel like she covers the bad history or whatever. Like, why do people do that? Like, why don't they cover, like, bad history? Like, and the good history. You know, like, mostly the good history. Like, I don't know why they choose, in history classes, they choose to, like, cover the, the bad stuff. Because it's, like, not that interesting, you know what I mean? Like, why don't you cover, like, how they, you know, the cool things they did to survive and whatnot. And the clothing they wore and shit like that. Like, why don't you... I don't know how to describe it, but when I study history, I like to study everything. Not just the bad stuff or whatever. I feel like she teaches from her point of of his of view of how history went. But I'm obviously gonna study Latin American history and try to take my own view on it. But <laughs> yeah. All my other classes are going really well. And, yeah. Everybody's out. Like, I guess my dad's working, and my brother's at school, and. What else? Oh, yeah, my mom is at, uh, at the hospital visiting my grandpa. She wasn't here when I. She wasn't here when uh, I came home. So I hope my grandpa is okay. If anybody's watching this, please pray for him. Thank you. And, yeah. But, um, so I was just gonna make, um, this video, you know. I was I was gonna read for the rest of the day until I gotta go to work at 5. And, um, it's about 1 something, 1 something right now. But, um, I decided to finish off this video. Anyway, uh, I think I'll talk about the rest of the day that happened on Tuesday. No, Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. It was the 17th. Um, so I think that, um, I think they're gonna be posting the Naeem Khan fashion show soon. For what? It was the fall winter collection. Fall and winter. For 2016. Yeah. I'm a little less energetic than I was yesterday, but I think because I'm like kind of tired still. I I had a lot of trouble like waking up this morning. I think because my body's like still like um, recovering from all the walking, you know, in New York. I walk a lot too. Like I'm surprised I'm like still recovering. I walk a lot. <laughs> like every single day, I walk like. A lot. I don't know, like miles or something. I don't know how many miles it is from the bus stop to my house, but you know, I walk a lot. Like I walk every day, pretty much. And um, but we went to that place party. Rockefeller Center. And, um, I think there was another dog show going on at the New Yorker Hotel, um, because we went by there, and when we, when we stayed there, like, either the last time we went to New York or the time before that, there was, like, a dog show going on, and there were, like, tons of dogs, and there was this one huge one that looked like a lion, it was so awesome, it's so cute to see all the dogs, and my dad was talking to like people as usual. I mean, my dad talks to everybody, but yeah, like. And then we had to get going because we were all like so hungry, and he was just like talking to these people, and it was like, come on, we're starving. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like I said, we went to Dylan's candy bar. I got that cupcake hat, and um, I got some vintage kind of candies. I got six slits. I don't know. They're old, but they had Necco wafers there, but I'm not a fan of those, so I didn't get them. 
six lips. Oh, it's upside down. Oh my god, Zoe. Oh my goodness, Zoe. I'm gonna try to stop saying oh my god because I feel like it's just profanity of the yin yang. I got this, um, Dylan's candy bar, bar chocolate. It reminds me of Ritter and Jake. And in style of how they do it, kind of. And it's molten chocolate cake filled. It's so good! Ah! <laughs> I ate some on the bus. Delicious! Ah! Oh my gosh! I dropped some six lits. Yikes. And then I got. Dropping everything. Like so. Oh, I should have taken that tape off. Oh. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, and then I got this candy bar that has a, my name on it. Yes, that's how you spell my name. Oh no, the phone is ringing. It might not be somebody though that. Because sometimes we get calls and then nobody like speaks. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody's there. So I got macaroons. There were six in here. But I shared the raspberry one with my brother. Well, no, I gave it to him because I wanted to get one for him. And then I got um, Earl Grey flavored Cassis. I got um, uh, peppermint mocha. No, this is peppermint. Okay. I got creme brulee. Um, what was it? Um, well, I had two, two blue, two yellow, and what was the other yellow one? Um, Gosh, I don't know. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know, but I got a lot of flavors and, um, you know, delicious. They're the greatest macaroons I've ever had. They're like really high quality and they're like really good. And this one has like a sheen to it. I don't know if you could see the sheen. I think it's peppermint mocha or something. There's a definite sheen to it, and um, like a blue sheen. It's like really good, the inside's super creamy. Mm. And um... Delicious. Delicious! The place we got it from is called Macaroons. And it's in New York. New York City. Don't know what street. I have not mastered the New York City street system. But. I do know that it's pretty it's very easy once you get used to it. It's like it's like a gridded gridded out um sort of um layout there. 
and um, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm reading like six books right now. I don't know. I'm reading like so many books right now. I want to finish Merlin Dreams so bad. It's about, I don't know if I talked about this already, but it's about where, um, Merlin gets, like, suckered into, like, going near this rock or whatever with this, by this, like, girl, this damsel, maybe? And then, like, and then he gets, like, stuck under this rock for years. <laughs> and um he has all these dreams and then sometimes he just wakes up and he's like oh my gosh I'm under a rock and then he like has more dreams and it's like really kind of weird but it's interesting and it's fun to read but um I got like 60 pages left <sighs> Almost finally done. And then I'm reading A Clockwork Orange and what else? Um, some book about hairspray. It's like a analyzing kind of book. Uh, it's like the author's analyzing the 1988 movie, basically. And then, um, what else? Oh, I'm reading Diary of a Runaway, I mean Biography of a Runaway Slave for that Latin American history class. Haven't gotten too deep into that yet, but I gotta finish it soon. Uh, and then, what else? Oh yeah, I'm reading this book about English fairy tales. Really loving that book. I'm going to be talking about it more. And then, uh, on Valentine's Day, I got a date with a book. And here it is. They basically wrap up the book, and then they put a cute sticker on it. They put a chocolate here. And then, they I didn't eat it. I threw it away because I'm like allergic, and I don't want it. It was milk, straight up milk chocolate, and I don't want to eat too much uh, milk chocolate. I'm allergic. That's probably why I'm feeling a little under the weather too. But for the most part, I'm pretty light. And then they put a quote in the book. And this one I'm really excited to read. I have three weeks with it. Three week long date with a book. <laughs> I think it's a really cute idea. I love my library, my local, my local library. It's the one in Cranston, Rhode Island. <laughs> I'm not gonna film the accent tag now, but um, only because I want to look better for that. Because it's a long anticipated video for me, at least. And um. So I'm gonna go like read and like, take a shower and stuff, and maybe I'll film that later or tomorrow or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably gonna film a speed speed drawer video, but yeah, that was New York. And then um, what do we do after Rockefeller? I think we just w had to walk back home, walk back to the um, train station after that, Penn Station. Not Penn Station, not Penn Station. What was it? I don't know. The bus station. The bus station. It was a bus station, not a train station. We didn't take the train this time. Last time we took the train. But, um, yeah, so... Another thing I'm going to do, be doing is uh, trying to say a video in Italian. Um, if it doesn't work out, I'll tr keep trying. And 
to post it, but yeah. Oh, I gotta get going, so I'll see you later. Um, yeah. Bye. Oh wait, 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 wait. I don't, I want to talk about the bus ride. Okay, the bus ride was like three hours long, and um, I don't live that far from there technically from New York. Um, but you know it's still like three hours, so. Um, the best day to go is like a Sunday mor sunny morning, then you can get there like really early because the traffic is like minimal. And, um, yeah, you can get a really good day in. Um, so, and a lot of the museums are still open on Sundays and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll see you later, gotta go, bye!